This is activity 21 on enols and enolates. We will be talking about 1-2 additions, 1-4 additions, micro additions, and stork reactions. So starting with number one, we need to draw the resonance structures for these two electrophilic sites, which will be on the two position and the four position. So we look at that oxygen, we know it's more electronegative, so it's gonna pull those bonds up. So let's go ahead and pull those bonds up now. And we have our single bond of oxygen with a negative charge. Our pi bond is still there, but now we have a positive charge on the two position. Now we could also see with resonance that that pi bond can jump over and that positive charge is now in the number four position. So we have our one, two additions and our one, four addition. So for number two, we need to show the mechanisms for the one, four addition. So we're gonna start with the lone pairs on that sulfur and that will attack the beta position, pushing up the pi bonds towards that oxygen. And that oxygen will now have a negative charge so those lone pairs will push back down, pushing that pi bond over to give carbon number two a negative charge. That will then deprotonate the hydrogen and the acid and create a stabilized substituted ring. So for number two, we see that we have a hydride. And when we have a hydride or a Grignard's, we're gonna do a one, two addition. So that hydrogen is going to attack that carbon no carbon going to push that pi bond up to the oxygen giving us a single bonded oxygen with a negative charge. Now that is going to reach out and grab that hydrogen right there and we will form our hydroxide. For number three we are asked to predict the major products for the following reactions after any aqueous workup. So starting with A we have a cyanide group that will add to the 1-4 position. I simply just break that pi bond and add a cyanide group to it. For E, we have a methane thiol that will add into the 1 4 position. For B, that will act like a Grignard's and we will add that in the 1 2 position. For F, we have a Cuprit or a Gilman's that will add into the 1 4 position. For C, we have a hydride, so that will be a 1 2 addition. For G, we have a Grignard's. That will be a 1-2 addition. For D, we have a hydrogen sulfide. That will be a 1-4 addition. And for H, we have a hydride. That will be a 1-2 addition. Number four, we are going to work on Michael additions. So only stabilized enolates can give us a 1-4 addition product. And that is when we have this alpha hydrogen right here. This is the most acidic hydrogen in the compound. And this oxygen will deprotonate that hydrogen, which starts off the mechanism. So when that happens, we get a negative charge on carbon number two. And that negative charge will then attack carbon number four on that Michael acceptor. Now we have another negative charge right there that will then deprotonate an acid, giving us a stabilized Michael product. This Michael donor from A, we see that we have an acidic proton. So we go ahead and use that to attack the number four position on that Michael acceptor, giving us this final product. For four B, C, and D, we have the same type of reactions as we did from previously. We are looking for that stabilized enolate with that alpha hydrogen, and we are attaching to the number four position. Number five, we were asked to draw the starting materials from the products. So I like to look at that hydrogen, the most acidic hydrogen in the alpha position. Go ahead and clear that off. So we draw the first reactant. We're always gonna have sodium hydroxide. And we're gonna go ahead and draw that aldehyde, showing the pi bond for that number four position. Do the same thing with the product on the right. Find that most acidic hydrogen, go ahead and clear that off, and add that pi bond onto this number two reagent.
So for number six, we need to show the complete mechanism for this 1-4 addition. So we'll go ahead and start with that carbon, no carbon getting attacked by that hydrogen. Number seven, we're simply filling in the boxes with the proper structures or reagents. So I like to just draw a line from that alpha hydrogen to the number four carbon and just make that connection. So number eight, we are going to synthesize the following targets. So for A, we're going to start with some H3O, Br2, some bromination. We're going to add some Py to eliminate that. And we're going to add a cuprate to pop on that phenyl group. For B, we're going to start with some NBS, that'll give us a bromine, then we're going to add NaOH to turn that into a hydroxy group, then we're going to add PCC to get a ketone on there, then we are going to use a Michael acceptor, and we get our final product. For C, we're going to use a cuprate. Then we'll add on the phenyl group. 